With FNCS Grand Finals officially being over, the next big tournament we have is the FNCS Global Championship LAN event. And since there is basically nothing going on until the new season, I decided why not make a way too early FNCS Global Championship predictions video. Hitting 100,000 subscribers would be like winning FNCS to me. So if you and homie to be able to win FNCS, please just subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. You can go get in the Fortnite item shop if you support me even more, especially with the new season's battle pass coming up in like a week or two. Follow me on my Twitter at ChiliKDog to keep up to date with everything to do with Fortnite competitive as well as just my channel in general. Without further ado though, let's get straight into today's video. All right, so I think I need to start off by, by preferencing that this is based off of chapter five placement specifically. So I'm not just gonna be like, oh yeah, Booga is gonna be in the top three because he won World Cup seven years ago or something like that. This is just based off of how they look so far. Obviously things are going to completely change with the new season and drop spots and everything like that. But I mean, I just thought we'd have some fun and pretty much just like, predict who are like the top 10 teams right now and where i think they will place all right let's get the controversy started now in 10th place i have re and rituals now re and rituals have gotten second fifth and 22nd in fncs grand finals as well as they won one cash cup so far this chapter obviously they didn't have the best fncs grand finals placement this season i just don't think they were as locked in as they have been for like the other seasons this chapter i still do think this is a top 10 team in the world and for my way too early predictions predictions i have them in exactly 10th once i get through all of these names make sure you guys comment down below your top 10 as well all right in ninth place i have batman booga and rapid now batman booga and rapids placements this fncs are second eighth and 24th as well as they have two cash cup wins the only thing about this duo though is most of their good placements all came in this season like literally the eighth in fncs obviously isn't bad but then they got a 24th and before that in cash cups they literally just weren't doing anything i don't think this is a team that is going to be a one season one though i think now that this team is both on zero ping they are here to stay and again i'm not taking into the fact that like people like contesting people and everything like that because then this list would literally just be impossible to predict in eighth place i have cow gamer in seven man now if you don't know this is actually a middle east team who have won four out of the last five fncs's if you look at their fncs placements this chapter it's first first and second but they have just been absolutely insanely dominant on the middle eastern region if any like small region team is going to place in the top 10 i think it has to be cow gamer and seven man if you don't know nothing about them i would recommend going and watching some of their gameplay cow gamer is one of the best players in the world probably one of the most underrated players in the world also since not a lot of people watch middle east i wouldn't be surprised if this team gets like contested by some bigger team but obviously since we can't predict people contesting each other yet i'm going to put this team in the eighth spot all right seventh place might be the first like real controversial one of the video i have vico and flixie now vico and flixie are the last season's f fncs winners they won fncs as well as winning three straight cash cups so if you're like how do i not have them higher on this list you can't put every single good team in the top three and there's obviously so many good teams there's too many good teams for everyone to be in the top five though and i have vico and flixie in seventh place all right now sixth place i have clicks and v now now obviously they were only together for one season they won a single duo cash cup they placed fourth place in fncs grand finals so we don't have like a ton of stuff to go off for them but if this team were playing for as long as like every other team has been this chapter i think that they would no doubt have the placements to show why they're a top 10 team now what you guys think about this is either going to be determined on if you're a clicks fan or not if you're a clicks hater you're going to say no way clicks is even a top 10 duo in the world but if you're a clicks fan you might be saying i'm putting them too low i think sixth place is honestly a pretty fair projection for them right now obviously we know how insane vino is at lands clicks has a ton of land experience as well so this is one of the most experienced teams at global championships in general and i mean obviously they have the whole argument for if they didn't get grief they had a real chance to be able to win fncs and i think a lot more people would be higher on them if that happened so i think sixth is very fair in fifth place i have chap and teeny now teeny is only the second controller player i have in my whole list if you look at their placements so far this chapter it is second and second in fncs grand finals two cash cup wins and three second places in the duo cash cup as well i'm pretty sure chap just made like his first ever grand finals like last season or something like that so the fact that this team has been able to get pull off two second places in back-to-back -back fncs is when one of the players literally just made their first grands last season is so impressive i know this team doesn't have a lot of experience compared to the other players on here but they look like one of the fastest coming up teams in the whole world and that is why i have them in my top five in fourth place i have acorn and cold now this is a team that could win it this team though i feel like just has to be in your top four at least looking at their placements this chapter it is first third and fifth in fncs grand finals three cash cup wins two second places and all of their 
FNCS Grand Finals were off of some crazy day two comeback. We also saw this team win FNCS while being contested. So, I mean, if there's any team that I could really see like completely proving this list wrong and winning globals, it is Acorn and Cold. I just feel like there is a couple of EU teams that have also had crazy chapters. But I mean, now that I think about it, I might be kind of low on Acorn and Cold, which is crazy to say that a fourth place is low for them. But I mean, this is one that I want you guys to debate in the comment section. Where do you think Acorn and Cold should actually be? Third place, I have Malibuka and Mustache. Now, a lot of people in my comments have been saying that Malibuka and Mustache are literally just going to contest Peterbot and Poyo since both of them just go for whatever the best drop spot is in the game. And I mean, if that is the case, that's going to be kind of unfortunate for both of these duos because I don't really see either of them doing good from that. But I mean, Malibuka is one of the best land players in the world. Malibuka and Mustache have been playing together for so long now, it feels like. Looking at their FNCS placements from this chapter, it is a first fourth and sixth in FNCS Grand Finals. You guys all know how good Malibuka and Mustache is, and this is the team that is starting off my top three. In second place is a team that might surprise a lot of you guys, but I feel like this team is going to really pop off at LAN. It is Swizzy and Vaniac. Now, Swizzy has gotten first and third in FNCS Grand Finals, as well as second in two duo cash cups. This team just looks absolutely insane to me. When I was watching them in FNCS Grand Finals, they look like some of the most dominant players on the region, and I had a lot of people in my comments telling me how good this team is as well and i mean i wanted to spice it up a little bit too I, like you can never just say like predictions are going to be like oh since vico and flixie won last fncs then they're just automatically going to win globers or anything like that i feel like there is always surprises that happen at land tournaments like literally if anybody predicted cooper and miro to win the last land you would probably like 100x your money from it so there is always going to be surprises at land and that is why i have swizzy and vaniac in second i'm already here in the comments right now it's just glazer 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 but i have peterbot and poyo in first place place this team has showed me no reason why they couldn't be in first place they've gone first first and second in fncs grand finals seven cash cup wins in the span of a single chapter so far they are by far the most dominant team in the world if you want to tell me otherwise then i mean go ahead and say it in the comments i'm gonna be down there listening to all you guys down there and seeing what you guys have to say i already know this is going to be one of the most controversial videos i post so i can't wait to hear all of your guys's amazing nice opinions down below <laughs> also if you're just gonna say peterbot glazer i want you guys to comment down below why you think peterbot is not going to place well at this land event this one doesn't even feel like that much of glazing to me this one just feels like me just stating facts and i feel like there is no team better than them right now but uh yeah leave your own top 10 or if top 10 is too much leave your own top 5 in the comment section down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new remember we are trying to hit 100 000 subs by the end of the year you just go get all in the fortnite adam trap want to support me even more it is by far the best way to support me and i truly do appreciate every single person that uses code kdog follow me on my twitter actually kdog because this is what honestly where i got a lot of the like teams for this video is from your guys' opinions youtube says you'll enjoy one of these two videos up on the screen right now so go check them out if you haven't already thank god for another day and i'll catch you guys next time peace out